DeAndre. So I, I know this is weird for you because you're just mm -hmm. like a, you're in a school in a small town in Texas mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden this is national news and now you're on television and I'm sure this is not easy or comfortable for you. Uh, so, but I want you to just relax and, and know that I'm, I'm here for you. And that's, Thank why, you. that's why you're here because I, I don't understand this. Um, they've told you that they, you need to cut your hair in order to return to school. Um, you, you get good grades. Um, you've never been in trouble ever. This is the first time anything has come up, and now you're not, you haven't been in school for weeks because of this situation. So, okay, when did they, when did this dress code happen that you, because you've been wearing your hair up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Every day I would go to school, I would always be in dress code, but the thing with them is, if it was let down, I would be out of dress code, and this issue really escalated about after Christmas break. So, so you were wearing your hair up, and that, that was fine, but the point was, if you let it down, it would be past your, what is it supposed to be, pa it's not supposed to be past your ears? Yeah, it can be in your face, past your ears, or touching your collar. Okay, um, and, but are there girls in your school? Oh, yeah. Okay, and uh, do, the, <laughs> do the girls have long hair? There's plenty of girls with long hair at my school. Like, if girls can have long hair, why can't That's I That's my long point. Hair? That's what I don't understand. Like, I just personally think you should be able to wear your hair however you want, especially if there's girls with long hair. Mm -hmm. What's the difference if girls have long hair and if guys have long hair? So, and, and also, so let's just say that was just the case. I don't think it's fair, that's my opinion. But also, this really has more meaning to you, mm -hmm. and tell everybody why. My hair really mean, like, it's really important to me because my dad is from Trinidad, and you know, it's part of our culture and our heritage, and I really wish the school would kind of be open to other cultures and just at least let us try to tell you some things. Don't just shut us out. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah. That's, I think that's what school's supposed to do is teach you about other cultures. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to teach them. They're supposed to teach you. <laughs> um, so if you go back to school, let's say you want to go back to school tomorrow, what happens? So if I go back to school tomorrow, my only options are in-school suspension or alternative school. And what is alternative school? Alternative school is where all the kids that have, you know, behavioral issues, sell drugs, fight all the time. Like, I, I wish the best for them. And I know they have good qualities in them, but I don't deserve to be grouped with them. No, you have good grades. You don't do drugs. You don't do any of that. Um, and they won't allow you to walk in graduation, which is the biggest, everybody, look, you get that far through school and you want to walk graduation. Like. I've worked for this all my life. I've strived yeah. for this. Yeah. I deserve this moment to walk across stage and enter into life. My parents deserve this. Yeah. Like, they, they're the ones who, you know, they got me through anything, and, you know, they just taught me everything. They deserve to see me walk across the stage. They sure do. Um, all right, well... <laughs> we're going to take a break and uh, more de with DeAndre after this. Let's talk about... You, you want to go to college, right? What do you want to major in? When I get to college, I want to be a vet because I've always loved animals. Everything about animals, just their sense of loyalty and just companionship. You can't get that anywhere else. No, unconditional love. They Love it. Listen, do you know how much school that is? Like, you have to go to more school than a doctor for people. Like, vets go to mm -hmm. more, that's, it's a long time, but I love that you want to do that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I have to say something into this camera right here. I am begging you. I, I, this kid is a good kid. He deserves to graduate, to walk with all the other kids. He's a good guy. I just am urging you to do the right thing. Please, please. <laughs> Change your mind. Um, you have an incredible future ahead of you, and as, as much as this has been a hassle, I, I think it'll be uh, and, and a discussion and an eye-opener for these people to go, maybe we did make a mistake. Um, hey, Alicia. Alicia wants to tell you something. Alicia. All right, well, I've, I've, I'm so happy to surprise you. Um, and I want to tell you that um, I couldn't believe the story when I heard it. And I'm super proud of you for 
standing up for what you know is right. Mm -hmm. And I know that the school needs to do the right thing. And my, me and Ellen, you know, we called our friends at Shutterfly because we know that you're a special person and you're destined for already such greatness. And we wanted to support that greatness and invest in that greatness. And so we wanted to present you with a check for $20,000. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh,